Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Pillar. We ask the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, so that God may always be our strength and sure protection. Let us now be sorry for our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, for Jew first and then Greek. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith. As it is written, the one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, its invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what He has made. As a result, they have no excuse. For although they knew God, they did not accord Him glory as God or give Him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man or of birds or of four-legged animals or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lust of their hearts, for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth, their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But, but as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Pillar. In our sanctuary, you would see the image of Nuestra Señora del Pilar here in the Manila Cathedral. This image is very precious because this is a gift given by the cathedral, the church, in Zaragoza, Spain. The church on which, or in which, Our Lady appeared to St. James around 40 A.D. The devotion to Our Lady of the Pillar started with the tradition that as St. James, one of the apostles of Jesus, was doing his mission in Spain, he experienced many things, many difficulties, many hassles to his mission, that dampened his spirit. Maraming naging pagsubok ang kanyang pagbimisyon na pinanghihinaan na siya ng loob. And so one day, Our Lady appeared to him. But what is amazing about this apparition is that it is not really an apparition. Because at that time, Mary was still alive. She was still living in Jerusalem. And so more than an apparition, some would say that it was a case of bilocation. Mary was in Jerusalem, but she manifested herself to St. James in Spain. And as she manifested herself, she was standing on a pillar in order to strengthen St. James and his companions. Pinalakas ni Maria ang loob ni Santiago para magpatuloy siya sa kanyang ginagawang mission. My dear brothers and sisters, there are many things that dampen our spirit. Napakaraming bagay ang nagpapahina sa ating loob. Napakaraming bagay na nag-aalis sa atin ng pag-asa. In our first reading today, St. Paul addresses the Romans and St. Paul calls their attention because they already knew who God is. They understood 
who God is. But despite their knowledge of God, they did not acknowledge God as God in their life. St. Paul says, they have no excuse for although they know God, they did not accord Him glory as God or give Him thanks. Alam na nila kung sino ang Diyos, pero bakit hindi sila naniniwala sa Diyos? At sa isang nagpapahayag tungkol sa Diyos, nakakasira yan ng loob. Sinabi mo ng lahat, itinuro mo ng lahat, pero hindi naman sila naniwala. But St. Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. I will continue proclaiming about Jesus. Sa panahon natin ngayon, maraming taong alam naman kung sino si Jesus, pero hindi naniniwala, nagtitiwala, at sumusunod kay Jesus. Maraming tao ang alam naman ng totoo at tama, ang mabuti at matuwid, pero hindi naniniwala sa totoo at tama sa mabuti at matuwid. Kahit alam na ang tama, kahit ipinamumukha na ang totoo, pilit pa rin nabubuhay sa kasinungalingan. And those who proclaim the truth may easily just give up because they may think their efforts are in vain. But God always strengthens us so that we may continue on in our mission. Jesus also encountered in his life many moments when people were trying to dampen his spirit in his mission of proclaiming God's word. One example is our gospel today. The Pharisees were watching him and they were watching him because they wanted him to commit mistakes, something that they could accuse Jesus of. Binabantayan nilang mabuti si Jesus at hinihintay nilang magkamali siya. Jesus could have easily given up. Ang hirap-hirap nung palagi kang binabantayan, ang dami-daming nasasabi, puro mali ang nakikita sa iyo. But Jesus continued with His mission, knowing that it was God's will and that what He was doing is what God wants Him to do. My dear brothers and sisters, what dampens your spirits? Ano ba ang nagpapahina sa iyong kalooban? At sa panahon natin ngayon, napakaraming nakakapanghina sa ating kalooban. Paghihirap, karamdaman, bigat ng buhay, problema sa pamilya, problema sa trabaho, problema dahil walang trabaho. Napakaraming bagay na nagpapahina sa ating loob. If we are experiencing these moments, know that Mary is not far away. That our Mother Mary comes to tell us, God is strong as this pillar. And so never give up, never lose hope, always stand strong. Please stand. Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to God the Father, 
and present our needs before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth through Jesus who is our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all your saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.